Today, we are talking all things zombie jerks. Now we have a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. Seven Days to Die is the survival horde crafting game. And behind me is the horde that you have to survive. That is a whole bunch of zombie jerks. The zombies are the main enemy in Seven Days to Die. And as Sun Tzu said, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. So today we are going to get to know our enemy by taking a close look at each of these zombie jerks. The first group of zombies we want to take a look at are the standard female zombies. Each of these zombies, the zombie Arlene, zombie cheerleader, zombie Darlene, the zombie lab worker, zombie Marlene, the zombie nurse, and the zombie stripper, they each have 125 hit points. These are actually the weakest zombies in the game. They are very squishy indeed. Do not take much to take these ladies down. Now, even though these ladies are similar with regards to hit points, there is one interesting thing you need to keep in mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on their AI, and these are just regular standard zombies. They're not ferals or radiated, so they all have different movement speeds. So I'm going to turn on their AI, and we will let, let them uh, start stumbling towards us. And you'll notice some of them move a lot faster than others. For instance, the stripper... The cheerleader are, and Arlene are actually the fastest regular zombies in this group. Let's get rid of them. And there's Darlene as well. Then you have the lab assistant or the lab worker here. And the last, the uh, slowest two zombies in this group are the nurse and Marlene. So even though they all have the same amount of hit points, they do have different movement speeds, even at the very low, lowest levels. So 125 hit points, but varying movement speeds. All right, next up, we're going to go ahead and test out our damage resistance or how much damage the basic zombies do. Every single one of the, the zombies in that last group that I showed you, they all hit the exact same. So they'll all do the, the exact same amount of base damage. So for Arlene, she does a base damage of eight. That is the exact same amount of damage as all of the other zombies in the first group. This first group also has a feral variety. And you can tell, let me get really close here. If you look at their eyes, their eyes are actually glowing yellow. That's how you can tell the difference between a standard zombie and the feral zombie. They have the yellow eyes. The feral version of these zombies have increased hit points. They're up to 237, and they are also much, much faster. In fact, I'm going to step way back here, and we're going to do the same test again, because they also, even though they're feral and they will be running, they also have very different run speeds. So let's go ahead and turn their AI back on and get them coming our way. And you'll notice that some of them are a lot faster than others. Cheerleader is uh, extremely fast, as is the Feral Mother and the Nurse. Arlene, believe it or not, is also very, very fast. And it looks like the slowest of the bunch is the Zombie Marlene. But they are much, much faster when they are Feral. But at the same time, they still have varying speeds as well. Now let's take a look at the damage output for the Feral versions of the female zombies. So we've got ourselves a feral Arlene here, and we're gonna go ahead and turn her AI on and let her punch her. Uh, let her punch me. I don't have any armor on, so I have no damage resistance whatsoever. She will do full damage with the first smack. Let's see how much damage she does. All right, Arlene, punch me in the face. Thank you. So you will see that our her base damage has increased to 15 damage. So the feral zombies are much, much stronger. And then we come to the radiated versions of these zombies. We have radiated Arlene, radiated cheerleader, radiated Darlene, radiated lab, and radiated Marlene. There is no radiated version of the nurse or the stripper. So there's only these uh, these four, five here, excuse me. They also get an increase in HP up to 451 hit points. And they also gain the ability to regenerate. So let me show you here. Punch Arlene, and you'll notice her hit points 
increase over time. So punch her down to 443 and boom, back up to full health. Down to 445 and back to full health. You notice that the Radiateds do have the ability to regenerate health. That's the only major difference between the Feral and the Radiated. They have the ability to regenerate and get some extra hit points. Plus they're all green. <laughs> Speed wise, they are still the same. I'll go ahead and uh, get them coming at me here. And you'll notice, zoom, look how, look how fast they are. So Darlene, Arlene, and the cheerleader are super, super duper fast. The um, lab is really fast. And again, Marlene is probably the slowest out of the bunch. Not very fast at all, but a lot faster than the regular zombies for sure. So now let's take a look at the damage output for the radiated female zombies. We're gonna go ahead and let Arlene here, radiated Arlene punch us in the face and see how much base damage she does at the radiated version. So Arlene, if you would, please punch me in the face. And there you go. So she does the same base damage as the Feral version. Again, the only major difference between the Feral and the Radiated is that ability to regenerate and the extra hit points. They still do the same amount of damage as the Feral version of these zombies. Next up, we've got the standard male zombies. There are a lot more standard male zombies than there are standard female zombies. There's 10 standard male zombies. They each have hit points of 150. So you have St Zombie Steve, Zombie Bo, the Burnt Zombie, the Janitor Zombie. You've got Zombie Joe, the Hazmat Zombie, the Businessman Zombie, the Farmer Zombie, the Skateboarder Zombie, and Zombie Yo. So that's the group of standard male zombies, all with 150 hit points. And once again, they do have different walking speeds. I'll go ahead and turn their zombie AI on. And uh, they have similar animations. So you've got the um, you've got the kind of plotters, the skateboarder and bow. They kind of just plod towards you. The, uh, the farmer uh, looks like he's been taking a little too much meth. He's the methed out farmer, as well as Zombie Steve uh, does that little twitchy animation. And then you've got the kind of shuffle guys like Zombie Yo and Zombie Joe, as well as the janitor. And then you have the really slow walkers, the businessman, the uh, hazmat zombie, and the burnt zombie. So those are the walking styles and the different speeds of your standard zombies. So now let's take a look at the damage output for the standard male zombies. Got ourselves a zombie bow here, and we're gonna let Bo smack us around here for a bit. We're gonna take one punch to the face from Bo and see how much damage the male zombies, the standard male zombies, do with no damage resistance. So Bo, if you would, please punch me in the face. And there you go. It is the exact same amount of damage as the female zombies. The base damage for the male zombies is eight, the same as the base damage for the basic female zombies. And here we have our group of male feral zombies. Now I did forget the cowboy in the last group, I believe, but uh, there is a regular version of the cowboy and a feral version of the cowboy as well. There is not a feral version of the burnt zombie or a feral version of the hazmat zombie. So those two do not have a feral variant, but all of the others do. And again, you can tell they are feral by the yellow eyes. Their eyes are glowing yellow. Very, very apparent that they you are fighting a feral with those eyes. They all have 285 hit points. And again, they all have very different uh, running speeds. Feral zombies will run and they will move at different speeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn their AI back on, get them chasing after me. And you will notice that some of them are much faster than others. Hey, guys, what are you doing? Come join the test. So you can tell the uh, businessman and the cowboy are extremely, extremely fast. And again, you can kind of group them in movement styles. So the cowboy, see how he has his, his uh, arms down at his sides and he's just running full force. Tom, move, or the, sorry, I call the businessman Tom. The businessman moves the, uh, the same way. And then the skater boy and Bo have the same movement type. You've got um, zombie, zombie Steve there and the farmer, they have kind of that outstretched hand pose. And they also move pretty darn fast. And then the three shufflers, who've got um, Yo, Joe, and the janitor, they all move at a, a they kind of do kind of a shuffle step as they move, so they're not quite as fast 
as some of uh, some of the others. So your your fastest zombies are going to be the cowboy at uh, the feral version of the cowboy, and the businessman. They are extremely extremely fast. Then you have your shufflers, zombie Bo, zombie Joe. They are they are pretty darn fast as well. The zombie farmer and the zombie Steve. They have that out outstretched hand kind of pose. And then the rest of them pretty much do a, a slower shuffle shuffle step version. So open oh, I mean I was mistaken. It's um it's zombie bow and zombie skateboard guy, the, the skater boy, that uh, have the same run speed. And then the zombie Joe, zombie yo, and the janitor have the same. They are the slowest uh, feral male variants. Now let's take a look at the damage output for the male feral zombies got our feral bow here and we're gonna go ahead and turn on his ai and let him smack me in the face so bow if you would thank you sir and there again you will see he did 15 points of damage the same as the feral versions of the female zombies and the last version of the standard male zombie is the radiated version so we have the uh, the same set of radiated zombies we've got bow we've got joe Skateboarder, Steve, Old Timer or Cowboy, Janitor, and Yo. Those are the radiated versions of these of the this uh, next group here, the male zombies. They each have hit points of 541. And once again, let's give a cowboy here a smack. Boom. You'll notice that he does have that uh, ability to regenerate his health. Their movement speeds are the exact same as the ferals. We'll turn them back on. Hey, boys, come on over. And you'll notice again, Cowboy extremely fast. Cowboy's still going to be the fastest of the bunch. And then you've got the uh, zombie bow and the skateboarder that are uh, pretty darn fast as well. And then your slowest ones again are going to be Joe, Janitor. Joe, Yo, and Janitor are going to be the slowest zombies in this group. And again, we're gonna test the damage output of the radiated male zombie. So Bo, if you would, please punch me in the face. There we go. And again, he did 15 points of base damage. The next group of zombies we wanna talk about are a little bit tougher. We have the uh, Fat Hawaiian, Zombie Mo, and Big Mama. These zombies are a little bit tougher, yet they're not armored. They are still just as squishy as some of the other variants just have a little bit more hit points. So the Zombie Mo has 250 hit points. Big Mama and the Fat Hawaiian have 300 hit points. As for movement speeds, they all move the exact same way. You kind of see how they're, they have their shoulders kind of back and they sway back and forth. They are pretty darn slow at the walking level. So they all move the exact same speed. Now let's see how hard they hit. I've got a regular zombie Mo. We're gonna do zombie Mo and the uh, fat Hawaiian just to show the uh, two different, since they have different hit points, they may do different damage. So we're gonna first start off with zombie Mo. Mo, if you would, please punch me in the face. Thank you, sir. And you'll notice that the standard zombie Mo dealt 15 points of damage. And now let's see what the big boy does. So the uh, fat Hawaiian, let's see how hard he hits. So sir, if you would, please punch me in the face. And you'll notice that he also did 15 points of damage. So your, your tougher zombies, the Hawaiian, the big mama, and the zombie Mo do the same amount of base damage as the feral versions of the standard zombies. And next up, we have the feral versions of these zombies. Again, you can tell by the yellow eyes. They each have yellow eyes. And funny, each of these zombies have only one eye. <laughs> That's pretty cool. If we take a look at their hit points, Feral Mo has 475 hit points. And the uh, Big Mama has 570, as does the Hawaiian. If we take a look at their run speed... You will notice, again, they all move at the exact same speed. They all have the exact same running style, kind of a shuffling again, back and forth, swinging their arms. They all move the exact same speed. And again, let's take a look at the feral damage output for this group. So Mo is up first. Mo, if you would, please punch me in the face. Ouch! He did a whopping 30 points of damage. These guys hit hard. And we will do the same thing with the Hawaiian here. So let's turn him on and get him to punch us. Boom, there we go. And once again, he did 30 points of damage. 
And there is a radiated version for Zombie Mo and Big Mama. There is no radiated version for the Hawaiian, so you've only got these two to uh, contend with. Let's go ahead and take a look at their hit points. So Big Mama has hit points of 902, and the Radiated Mo ha also has hit points of 902. Now their movement speed should be the exact same as the Feral versions. And again, they move the exact same. So let's go ahead and take a look at the damage output for the Radiated versions of these. So Mo, if you would, please punch me in the face. And again, they do the same amount of damage as their feral counterparts. Also wanted to show here real quick that they do have the ability to regenerate health. So after you hit them, you will notice their hit points do regenerate. Now let's take a look at Big Mama. Let's see how hard Mama hits. So Mama, if you would, please punch me in the face. And again, she did the same amount of damage as her feral counterpart. The next group of zombies we want to take a look at are the armored zombies. So we have the utility worker and the soldier. They each have hit points of 150. We have the football player, which has 250 hit points. And the zombie biker, which has 280 hit points. Pretty much any zombie that has a helmet is going to be an, an armored zombie, which means they take less damage than your regular than your regular squishy zombies, your standard zombies. So that's a dead giveaway. If they have a helmet, they are considered armor, armored zombies. They have an armor rating, and they will decrease some of the damage that they take. Now, the utility worker, the soldier, and the biker have standard versions. The football player only has the one version. He is pretty much uh, basically like a feral, an armored feral zombie. That's the only version. There is no slow moving football player. And eventually uh, they are actually going to be taking the football player out of the game, or at least that's what the rumor has it. So the football zombie will eventually be taken out of the game. So let's go ahead and back up and let me show you their movement speeds here. Turn their AI on. And again, the football zombie has uses that uh, arm out animation. So he, he comes running straight for you. Your uh, utility worker uses the methed out animation, so he's all twitchy and moving his arms. The soldier does the little stumbling, kind of like Zombie Bo did. And the biker does the really slow shamble like the businessman did before. So those are the, the uh, different movement speeds of these types of zombies. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the damage output for these bad boys. First up is the zombie biker. And you can see that he did 15 points of damage, same as the feral versions of the standard zombies. Next up, we have the football zombie. So let's go ahead and get him to punch us. And he only does eight points of damage. So he does the same amount of damage as your standard, regular, everyday run-of-the-mill zombie. So he does not hit as hard, but he does move a whole lot faster, and this is the only version of the football zombie you have to worry about. Next up is the soldier zombie. Let's see how much damage he can do. And again, the soldier zombie does eight points of damage, the same as the standard zombie. And the last one in this section of this group is the utility worker. Let's see what he does. And again, he does eight points of damage like the standard zombie. This group of zombies also has a feral version. We have the feral utility worker, biker, and soldier. And again, you can tell they are feral by the yellow eyes. So once again, be on the lookout for those yellow eyes and you will know that you're dealing with a feral zombie. The utility worker and the soldier both have hit points of 285 and the biker has hit points of 532. And if we back up, we'll take a look at their running speed. Come on, boys. All right, so they all three have different running speeds. Now, the biker was the slowest. He is now the fastest. And then the uh, the soldier and the utility worker move pretty much at the same speed, even though they have different running animations. The utility worker does that arm stretched out, running straight at you uh, animation. And the uh, soldier here does that, that uh, kind of faster paced stumbling animation. So these two are pretty close in speed, but the biker zombie goes from the absolute slowest to the absolute fastest once he is feral. Now let's take a look at the damage output for the feral soldier zombie. See how, how hard this bad boy hits. So feral soldier, if you would, please punch me in the face. 
And like the other feral zombies, he does 15 points of damage. So he does the same amount of damage output as the standard zombies. The only benefit he has is he is armored, so he takes less damage from you. And he's a little tougher to kill. And next up on the list is the utility worker. So feral utility worker, please punch me in the face. And again, the feral utility worker does a base damage of 15, same as the other standard feral zombies. And last but not least, we have the Feral Biker. Let's see how hard he hits. And ouch! He does 30 base points of damage. So the same as the uh, Mo, the Hawaiian, and the Big Mama. Really does pack a punch. The Feral Biker zombies are no joke. Be very careful when taking them on. They're very, very fast. They hit hard. And they're armored, so they take less damage. And the last version of this group is the radiated version. Now there is no radiated utility worker in the game as of right now, but there is a radiated soldier and a radiated biker. Radiated soldier has 541 hit points and the radiated biker has 1,010. The radiated bikers are tough, man. They are very, very tough. Once again, their movement speeds are the same. The biker zombie is extremely fast as is the soldier zombie. The vi biker, radiated biker zombie is probably one of the fastest zombies in the game. That uh, hands down at your side, here, let me, let me get him going again. The hands down at his side, leaned forward and just barreling towards you. That is the fastest running animation in the game. So all zombies that have that running animation are extremely, extremely fast. So even though he is the slowest at the regular level, once he gets up to feral and radiated, this bad boy books. He goes quick. I'm talking Usain Bolt levels of speed. And like all other radiated zombies, they do have the ability to regenerate. So be careful of that. Use your anti-rad if you have that mod. Very useful against radiated zombies. But let's go ahead and see his damage output. So Radiated Soldier Zombie, if you would, please punch me in the face. And there you go. He does the same amount as the Feral version. 15 points of damage. And now let's take a look at the damage output for the Radiated Biker. So, if you would, please, Biker Friend, go ahead and punch me in the face. And ouch, ouch, ouch. 30 points of damage, same as the Feral version, but his ability to regenerate his HP makes the Radiated Biker an extremely tough zombie to take care of. Next, we're gonna take a look at some specialty zombies, starting with the Zombie Cop. The standard Zombie Cop has 250 hit points, and what's special about this guy is, come on at me, buddy. He's, he shambles his way towards you, but he stops, and every once in a while, he will spit. He spits at you, and that spit does a lot of damage. Boom, there you go. So his spit does do damage. Zombie Cop has a projectile as well as a melee attack. Very slow, very squishy at the lowest level, but at the same time, very dangerous because of that spit. And that spit will act absolutely decimate your base, especially if it's made out of uh, low level materials like wood, that spit will destroy wood. And let's take a look at the melee damage output for the cop. Hot cop, if you would, punch me. Thank you. So the cop does 15 points of base damage at the lowest tier. Just the standard cop. And one more thing I want to demonstrate with the cops. Once you get them down low enough... Boom! <laughs> they will actually self-destruct. So be very, very careful with cops. There is also a feral version and a radiated version of the cop. Again, the feral version, you can tell by the glowing yellow eye and the radiated because he is all glowing green. The feral police officer has 475 hit points and the radiated cop has 902. They have the same running animation as the, um, whoa, don't want to get spit on. Oh. They have the same running animation as the uh, some of the other feral zombies, like the Hawaiian and uh, Zombie Mo. Woo! Oh man, 
Crazy. One thing I did want to know to uh, point out to you guys is the radiated cop. His when he spits, watch this. Look at all of that spit that comes out. Oh man, it can do a. Uh, it can t totally destroy your base. It does so much damage to blocks, and it uh, it hurts you as well. So I'm just gonna stand here. Come on, buddy. Ouch! Look at that. We took 19 points of damage from that spit. So the uh, the radiated cop, the spit is much, much worse. Now let's take a look at the damage output for these bad boys. So first, we're going to let this cop punch us in the face. So if you would, please, sir. Thank you. You'll notice they do 30 points of base damage. Now I want to demonstrate one more thing. As we demonstrated earlier, cops explode once they get down in health. So we've got the feral cop here. I'm going to get his health down. All right, now you hear the heartbeat. That means he's about to explode. Boom, he explodes. <laughs> oh my God. And look what that explosion did to this little wood structure that I created. Those explosions are no joke. Be very far away from a cop when it explodes. If I were not in God mode, that explosion would have killed me. The next specialty zombie we want to talk about is the spider zombie. So there is a standard spider variant a feral variant, and a radiated. The standard spider has 150 hit points, the feral has 285, and the radiated has 541. I'm gonna back up and I will show these bad boys in action. What's unique about the spiders is their ability to, just like that guy did, to jump. They jump a very long way. You'll notice that the feral and the radiated also have the ability to kind of sprint. But uh, it, unless you are really close to them, they will jump. And sometimes even if you're right up, they jump, jump, jump. These guys are little jumping beans, man. Look at them. Look at them jumping. Man, the spider zombies can be really, really annoying. And they're so low to the ground, sometimes it's hard to actually hit them especially if you're using a hatch base or kind of a, a barrier base design the spider zombies can sometimes be incredibly difficult to deal with because they sit so low to the ground now let's take a look at the damage output for the spider zombies this is a regular spider zombie let's see how hard he hits all right the standard spider zombie hits the regular eight uh, points of damage like some of the lower tier zombies uh, that we've already showed one thing I will caution you is spider zombies do have the tendency to sprain your leg or break your leg. Since they are hitting you uh, lower down on your body, they have a, a higher chance to actually hit you in the legs and deal critical damage to your legs. Leg injuries absolutely suck. And next up is the feral. So let's go ahead and let the feral spider give us a smack. And once again, the feral spider does 15 points of damage. That is the same amount as our base zombies did. So no extra damage boost. The main difference between these guys, the things that makes them so annoying is the fact that they can jump and the fact that they sit so low to the ground. So they have the tendency to smack you in the leg, giving you a nasty leg critical. And next up, we have the radiated spider. He should do as much damage as the feral, but we'll just double check to make sure. And there it is, 15 points of damage. But again, he does gain the ability to regenerate. The next specialty zombie we want to talk about is the Feral White. These guys are nasty. Look at them. Woo. So we have the regular Feral White and the Radiated Feral White. There are two versions in this game. The regular Feral White has hit points of 532 and the Radiated has 1010. You will notice they are extremely fast. There is no standard version of the white. They are only feral and radiated, so they will move very, very fast. All right, now let's see the damage output for the standard feral white. So Mr. White, if you would, please punch me in the face. There we go. So the standard feral white does a base damage of 15 points. And now let's look at the radiated variant. The radiated uh, is much tougher to take down. Let's see how hard he hits. And the, wow, that is actually a surprising result. I'm going to try that again. He only did 15 points of damage to us. So let's double check and make sure that, 
Yep, there it is. Okay, so the whites, the feral, and the radiated only do the 15 points of damage. There is no boost uh, between the feral and the and the radiated, which I guess on second thought is pretty much standard across the board. Most feral zombies and their radiated counterparts do the same amount of base damage. So it would make sense that the feral white and the radiated feral white would do the same amount of damage. And the next specialty zombie we want to talk about is the Screamer. There are three variations of the Screamer. You've got the standard Screamer with 75 hit points. You have the Feral Screamer with those glowing yellow eyes at 142 hit points. And then you have the Radiated Screamer with 270 hit points. Now the special feature of the Screamer zombie is their ability to scream. If they see you, they will scream and call in all of their zombie jerk friends. So let's go ahead and turn on their AI. I'll show you their movement speed and we'll listen for those screams. So let's uh, move on back here and let's just dance around a little bit. All right, you hear them screaming? There's a nice scream. So that scream will spawn in, typically speaking, will spawn in a whole bunch of zombie jerks that you're going to have to take care of. So be very careful. Oh, listen to them go. Screaming, screaming, screaming. Now in this world, I have the zombie spawns turned off, so no zombies will spawn when they scream. But typically speaking, in a regular playthrough, when they scream, they will call in a whole bunch of zombie jerks. <laughs> and they're still screaming. Even with the AI turned off, they're still screaming their heads off. Doesn't matter if it's the regular, the feral, or the radiated. They will all scream and bring in a whole bunch of zombie jerks. They will... Sp yes, yes, we know. We hear you. Thank you. They will spawn all the way around you and swarm you. They will know where you're at. They, they just boom. They, they will zero in on you. Oh, these, these little ladies can cause you a whole lot of issues. Thankfully, the fun pimps were not so mean as to make the Screamer zombies extremely tough. They have the lowest uh, hit points of any zombie in the game, so they are relatively easy to take down, but you definitely want to take them down before they see you and start screaming. Otherwise, you're going to have a whole bunch of other zombies uh, that you'll have to deal with. So for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the damage output of these little ladies. So madam, if you would, please punch me in the face. And as you can see, she did eight points of damage. So that's pretty standard with the lowest level variant of these zombies. Next up, we will take a look at the feral version of the screamer zombie. And again, she did 15 points of damage, so that is pretty standard with the other zombies we've tested today. And last up, we have the radiated version of the Screamer Zombie. So, Screamer Lady, if you would. Thank you. Oh, and she even got a critical. She stunned us. But she did 15 points of damage, so the damage base damage is the same as the Feral variant. That's pretty much been standard across all of the zombies that we've tested today. The next specialty zombie we, we want to talk about is the Lumberjack. Now, these uh, these guys can be found, typically speaking, only in the snow biome, although there are a couple of POIs where these guys will jump out at, in specific points, so they will spawn in specific points inside POIs. But generally speaking, these guys are found in the snow biome only. And there are two versions of the Lumberjack zombie. There's the regular version and the feral version. There's no radiated version as of right now. The regular snow zombie has 300 hit points and the feral has 570. Take a look at their movement speed. They have that lumbering movement style which makes the feral zombie extremely fast. But the standard snow zombie is relatively slow. He just lumbers towards you giving you plenty of time to back up and shoot him with a gun or uh, shoot him with an arrow if you want to keep your distance or smack him in the face with a club. Now let's take a look at the damage output for the snow or the lumberjack zombie. So sir, if you would, please punch me in the face. Ouch. And he did 15 points of base damage. So he is a tougher zombie. Even his uh, lowest tier version here hits pretty hard. And next up is the feral version. And again, he has those glowing yellow eyes. So that's how you can tell he is feral. Let's see how hard this bad boy hits. Ow. And again, base damage for the feral version is 30 points of damage. 
And the last zombie we need to talk about is the Demolition Zombie. This guy is an absolute monster. The Demolition Zombie has 1,000 hit points. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the time here. We're going to go to night. So let's go to 2200. There we go. So it's after dark. Because typically speaking, actually, the only time you will face these guys is on Horde Night and at late game stages. These guys do not spawn regularly into the world or into POIs. They only come after you during the Horde Night. There's only one variation of the Demolition Zombie. So the reason I wanted to make it 2200 was to demonstrate their running speed so sir if you would please come chasing after me and as you can see they are pretty darn fast now if by chance you happen a demo zombie happens to survive the horde night four o'clock hits and the morning bell is upon you of the next day so it's no longer nighttime he does actually slow down quite a bit the same movement animation kind of like the uh, zombie bow has so that's what the zombie demolition zombie looks like during the daytime again he will only usually spawn during horde night so at night so he will usually be running at you but if you have a, a demolition zombie survive the night this is what he's gonna look like as he is coming at you in the morning now i'm going to demonstrate why these guys are so so dangerous first let's go ahead and get him to punch us in the face so we can see how much damage he does and he does the uh, same amount of damage as the standard feral zombie. So, so he's not the hardest hitting zombie in the game. That's not what you have to worry about with these guys here. What you really have to worry about is that green glowing button. That thing is insane. Now, my rifle range here is made out of reinforced concrete. I just painted it up to look all nice. But the actual blocks are reinforced concrete. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate why these guys are so nasty. I am in God mode, so that way I don't die. Because if you do this and you are close, you are within the blast radius of these bad boys, you will die. So let's go ahead and aim for the button. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Now let's take a look at the damage. Let's look at this. Holy crap. So he was standing in the middle here, and look at the damage. He almost completely did. These were reinforced concrete blocks. You know what? I bet if we, you know, let's do that. Let's go ahead and bring in another zombie, demolition zombie. And this time, let's just uh, punch him in the button. Let's see if that works. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and boom, look at that. Two explosions destroyed my rifle range. Ah, the jerk! That is why these guys are so dangerous. So he's doing 5,000, nearly 5,000 damage to some of these blocks. I think the block he was standing on, he did like 4,400 damage when he exploded. Not fun at all. I mean, that is insane. If you are standing anywhere close to this guy when he blows up, you are dead. Doesn't matter how heavily armored you are, you are dead. Do not let the demolition zombies explode if you can help it. Shoot them in the face. Kill them before they do explode. Do not hit that button. One thing I will caution you about with the demolition zombie, it does seem that turrets have button seeking ammo, so they will almost always set off the demolitions buttons. So be very, very careful when using the robotic turret, the SMG turret, the shotgun turret, or even the robotic sledge. The robotic sledge can even set off those buttons. So be very, very careful when using turrets around a demolition zombie. If you do hit that button, there are eight beeps before he explodes. Let me demonstrate one more thing because uh, some of you might think, oh, well, he's just standing there so you can run away. Okay. All right. So I went ahead and switched it into nighttime. I'm going to bring in another demo zombie. So his AI is off right now. We're going to turn it back on. We're going get, to get him to come after us. And then I'm going to hit the button and... He continues to run. He will continue to run until the beeping stops. So we'll get uh, get the button going again. And watch, he runs, 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 and then he explodes. So don't think that by just hitting that button, he will stand still and you can just go about your merry business. No, if you hit that button, turn and run very, very fast. So the last thing I'm going to demonstrate with the demo zombie. All right, buddy.
So there you have it, folks. That is what happens if you get too close to a demo zombie and his button goes off. <laughs> you will die. It's as simple as that. Seven Days to Die is an absolutely amazing game. One of the great aspects of this game is the enemies. There are so many different zombie jerks that you have to contend with. Plus, there are several variations of each of these zombie jerks. From the standard zombies to the ferals to the radiateds, they each give you increasing levels of difficulties. One other thing I did want to mention is that there are a few other zombies in the game. However, these are zombie animals, which I'm going to be covering in a separate video. I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on the animals in Seven Days to Die. So I'm going to include the zombie animals in that video. Be on the lookout for that. That should be coming out very, very soon soon. One more important thing I want to mention is the fact that the zombie difficulty will be increased as you increase the game difficulty. This video showed the zombie jerks at the default settings. This includes the default difficulty level. As you increase the game difficulty level, the zombie jerks will hit harder and be harder to kill. So keep that in mind as you play Seven Days to Die. I hope you folks have found this video helpful and or enjoyable. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. Speaking of which, I have created a very special playlist of tutorial videos with similar subject matter. You can access that playlist by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's World. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.